Harvey Levin and Chris Jenner have known each other for over 20 years. Oh my God, it's so good, good seeing you. Good to see you too. I'm excited about talking to you. Yeah? Even though I know you. TMZ is always putting the Kardashians on a pedestal. We have been responsible for making certain people into celebrities. The proudest moment is Kim Kardashian. Whoever they are associated with, they'll throw them under the bus. When TMZ gonna run an article that makes Ye look favorable and that Kim K ain't really on the up and up. Kris Jenner works hard, but Harvey Levin works even harder. He claims that TMZ is responsible for the Kardashians' fame. Harvey and Kris go way back, and it's clear they have a working relationship. The Kardashian side characters like Kanye West, Jordan Woods, Lamar Odom, and Tristan Thompson are constantly trashed by the site, while everything the Kardashians do is praised. So what's really behind Kris Jenner and Harvey Levin's relationship? Let's get into it. Nowadays, it seems like fake news is everywhere, and it's definitely here in Hollywood. And there's a famous family who's been able to use the news outlets to manipulate our perspectives of them. And of course, I'm talking about TMZ and the Kardashians, because they have a close working relationship. And today, I thought it would be important for us to expose the connection between these two. This person tweeted, be weary of the TMZ Kardashian connection, the Kardashians and Harvey Levin party on yachts together. Vanity Fair basically said that Harvey blackmailed a pop star. Evil Hollywood horse trading. And if you guys didn't know, Harvey Levin is actually the face of TMZ. I believe he created it, so he's running the show over there. This person questioned an article which stated that Kanye West was experiencing a bipolar episode and his family is worried, which this person mentioned that the sources say, well, who are the sources? We don't know who the sources are, but then this person clarified that they're getting it from TMZ and they have connections with the Kardashians. And while I think it's pretty standard that a lot of these celebrities have relationships with media outlets, this relationship goes much deeper. And it looks like Chris owes Harvey a lot because Harvey actually claims that TMZ made Kim Kardashian, essentially why this family is famous in the first place. This article writes that Harvey and a few others working at the celebrity site became obsessed with the girl who was making the rounds in the Hollywood scene. Quote, they saw her with Paris Hilton strutting past Tara Reid who couldn't get into the club. So we started putting her up on the site and that girl was Kim Kardashian. This person asked, wait, so you're saying that you helped create Kim Kardashian? And Harvey replied saying, well, we did. When you hear TMZ, you have mixed reviews because they have had their faults from time to time. But he claims that he doesn't have any financial relationship with any of these celebrities. They will pay for video clips and photos sometimes, but it's very rare. I don't know if I'm buying that, but he claims that it's just good old fashioned reporting and, you know, they're at the right time at the right place, which thinking about it, you know, I've been at a few different places where I have ran into some TMZ reporters, but I've actually ran into more Rolling Stone reporters. So they have more people actually out here. Harvey Levin and Kris Jenner have known each other for over 20 years. You're probably wondering why there's always a Kardashian story on their website and TMZ is always putting the Kardashians on a pedestal, never holding them accountable. They're so perfect. And then whoever they are associated with, they'll throw them under the bus, but they'll never throw the Jenners or the Kardashians under the bus. Look at the most recent interview with Kim Kardashian being interviewed and she's crying and boohooing and saying how tough it is to raise four kids and going through the Kanye uh, situation. But Kim, you've known uh, Kanye for over 10 years, married to him for 10 years, got four kids by him. You knew who he was. All right. Uh, whatever that means to someone, you, you knew who he was. And it's just interesting how she tries to play the victim like she's raising these four kids by herself when in all actuality, they have maids, they have nannies and they have a show to run. Listening to that report, it makes sense to me because I look at a lot of TMZ articles and they talk about Black China like she's trash. They talk about Tristan Thompson and his mess and Lamar Odom. All of these people surrounding the Kardashians are getting the bad press on TMZ while they're constantly being covered in a good light. And that's because their connections go way, way back. I mean, he actually came on to Kris Jenner's daytime show back in 2013. Throwback to that. In a clip, she went on 
on to explain that they have been old friends since 1994 when he was working as a TV reporter in LA. During that interview, Harvey was quoted saying that Chris had her tentacles as she does in everything. On the next Chris. He's the handsome TV dots from Nurse Jackie, actor Morris Chestnut. And coming Tuesday, the man behind TMZ, Harvey Levin. It's all on Chris. I think it's pretty black and white. If the Kardashians are good to TMZ, they'll be good to the Kardashians. For example, TMZ got the exclusive about Chloe being pregnant, which is good news for them and TMZ gets the exclusive. What's interesting about this relationship between TMZ and Chloe Kardashian is that their top six most popular articles are about her and Tristan. So their exclusives about them and news about their fallouts really bring TMZ a lot of ad revenue. Like this article, about Chloe giving birth to a baby girl and Tristan was there. This article compares this experience to Kylie's because Kylie was very private about everything and the announcement of her birth was announced on Instagram and through a YouTube video. Unlike Chloe, where the first sign of anything came directly from TMZ. Can you imagine Chris just running to the phone to go and hit up Harvey when Chloe had given birth? She's probably already texting him before she's even like given birth and then giving him the okay so he can hit publish as soon as that baby is there but in this interview on harvey's show objectified you hear a little bit more about their relationship the head of a lucrative family empire i had to figure out a life that you don't depend on anyone else chris jenner's journey and the events that changed it all there was a big secret that bruce was holding mm -hmm. tonight all on the next objectified thank you so much for having <laughs> me here you? oh my god it's so good, good seeing you good to see you too thank you so much for doing this i'm excited about the show i'm excited about talking to you yeah even though i know you i know you know way too much about me. <laughs> but here's what here's what i want to do today okay i want to trace your life Another instance where TMZ got the scoop was whenever Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys filed for divorce, which I thought was interesting because I saw a familiar name, Laura Wasser, who actually has worked with a bunch of other celebrities and now is representing Britney Spears in her divorce battle. But of course, TMZ got exclusive images of the divorce papers moments after they were filed in court. The lawyer claims that this firm has a strong policy of not speaking with media about our cases, so... Who could have leaked those documents? I mean, probably the people who filed them. And it seems like Harvey loves the Kardashians. When he goes to speak at events or to teach people, he speaks about them and their impact and how they were able to take her kind of as a case study and essentially make her famous. And it's interesting how fascinated he is with this family. And I think it speaks to how close they are. We have been responsible for making certain people into celebrities um, by association. And, you know, our proudest moment is Kim Kardashian, <laughs> who we shot walking into a club with Paris Hilton as poor Tara Reid sat behind the ropes, wishing that she was still Paris's best friend. And the video just went everywhere. And everybody said, who is that girl? Literally, that made Kim Kardashian. Well, and then the sex tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to Chris and Harvey's relationship, they don't really talk about when O.J. Simpson was involved because Harvey almost caused a mistrial of some sort or a delay because he was messing with the reporting. And I do think that Chris Jenner was a big part of helping him rewrite his stories and push a narrative, which ultimately got him in trouble. There were ethical issues that came up because of this. And I think that speaks to TMZ in general, because while TMZ does have some valid reporting and they do have connections you cannot deny that they make a lot of errors sometimes and that can be damaging to people but at the same time they have now developed a strong relationship with the kardashians to where they seem to coddle them i mean there are even video clips of like chloe where she's clearly face tuned and it's just like well did tmz do this did the kardashians request this how much is tmz really kissing their ass Kardashians switched from the Daily Mail um, doing their fluff pieces and propaganda to the public common people to TMZ and how the Kardashians allegedly brought in their own photographers and paparazzi to take photos of this and to use Tristan's mom's passing as a marketing thing which is terrible in my eyes but you can't say it's not partially true because look at this photo 
they facetuned her face and photographers like tmz is not allowed to retouch photos they did this before the photos were sent which in my opinion proves this woman's point that tmz is getting the scoops now and that the kardashians have switched from the daily mail to tmz but they're using someone's death as good publicity for them horrible horrible people while Chloe has a great relationship with TMZ, that's not the same for every Kardashian Jenner because Kendall Jenner almost ruined their relationship. This headline reads, could Kendall Jenner's tweet drive a wedge between Kris Jenner and TMZ? The model voiced her displeasure with Harvey running the gossip site by retweeting a headline that read, Kendall Jenner's stalker ends up by her pool. WTF? She wrote, and how do you guys think these terrifying people know where my house is? Because you release not only photos, but my location. This is so beyond unsafe. Is there not one ounce of privacy that we get? Quote, I understand what I've signed up for, but when you release the exact location to where I live, that's when you're putting my life in danger. Your home is your safe haven. But for me, because of outlets like you, my home is anything but. You should be ashamed of yourself. And honestly, kudos to Kendall Jenner for standing up on this because I've talked about her stalker situation before definitely go and check out that video because it is intense and tmz did not help the problem kendall jenner lashing out at tmz for putting her quote life in danger accusing the website of revealing her address after an alleged stalker made his way to her swimming pool who or what does kendall jenner say has been putting my life in danger not exactly what you'd suspect the lapd on tuesday arrested a 37 year old alleged stalker who was standing on jenner's front porch and charged him with criminal trespass. But on social media, the 22-year-old Jenner aimed her ire at TMZ and the celebrity news gatherers report on the incident. I get this, Kendall Jenner has a new stalker. This one's different. She lives in a beautiful gated community, multi-million dollar homes. The TMZ report does not appear to identify Jenner's location. I think Kendall Jenner probably got a slide on that one, but Tristan Thompson has been shown no mercy when it comes to TMZ. And when he got in trouble for kissing some girls at the hookah lounge, he had a horrible day in the media. Actually, that hookah lounge was like two blocks from where I lived in Arlington, like throwback to that time. Um, but yeah, I never went into the hookah lounge. I heard some like mixed reviews about it. There were a lot of burns on the white couches. So, and I'm not really big into hookah, like, you know, just not my thing. Anyways, this article was posted by TMZ about him and the hookah lounge kissing on these girls. Well, conveniently later on, and by later on, I mean nine minutes later on, TMZ posted another instance where Tristan was cheating on Chloe. They posted a video of Tristan walking into the Four Seasons with a woman identified as Lonnie Blair. This was a different woman than those posted in the hookah lounge video, and these two moments were seven months apart, but TMZ had these articles ready to go and posted them within minutes, which makes me think that they are clearly working with Chloe in some capacity to set this up. This person pointed out on TMZ's Insta highlights, they have a category for car jenners, sport, hip hop, etc. They are clearly working together because this family, their drama has its own tab on their website. One DJ spoke out about his terrible experience with the Kardashians and TMZ and how they tried to make him look bad. He says he regrets what he said because of the way TMZ used it. He went on a 20 minute rant on how Kim and TMZ work together with proof. When TMZ go run an article that makes Ye look favorable and that Kim K ain't really on the up and up. As soon as, as soon as Ye said, they're not letting me into my kid's party, TMZ publishes an article talking about, oh, that was not true. Nobody on Kim, Kim's representatives tells us they never prevented Kanye from coming in. Shut the fuck up. You think Kanye making this up? This is the power of the media. And TMZ, you're part of the fucking Kim K spectacle. It almost makes me feel, I felt shitty after y'all ran that shit. Because I'll never fuck with Kim. I'll never fuck with Pete. Y'all made it seem like I was ratting on my man Ye. 
but I was trying to keep it factual. We've talked about Kanye plenty on this channel, and we must admit that, you know, they've really trashed him on TMZ. This person writes, TMZ has been paid off for years by the Spears conservatorship to make Britney look crazy. Lou M. Taylor also works with the Kardashians and is pro-conservatorship. This is why Kanye tweeted about them trying to put him in the hospital for 5150, moved out of the state and thought that they could get him into a conservatorship. It's interesting to see how TMZ plays such a big role in the Kardashians' relationships because they truly cover the ups and downs and they really make these guys look bad during the downs. Actually, thinking about this reminds me of Kylie and Timothy, her new boyfriend, and how there were rumors about them breaking up, but then TMZ was the first one to say, no, they are still together. So they have information on hand at all times. Of course, they followed him all the way there and it was when that really infamous photo was taken. TMZ captures her in the parking lot of a Wendy's and she's clearly really upset. You saw that vulnerable, sad side of Kim where she's just breaking down crying. She was struggling with their marriage, struggling to hold the family together without him. She's crying, she's gesticulating. She looks like she's pleading with Kanye and she looks like a woman in crisis. TMZ is always messing with Kanye West. They love to pick on him. And even recently, they made a poll about Kim and Kanye getting back together, which I don't know if Kim would have approved that, but he's got a new wife. He's completely moved on. I mean, I think we all are still kind of shocked about Bianca. I barely can remember her name. But anyways, it's weird that they are picking on Kanye, even at this point where he's trying to move on and stay on the low. TMZ, known for its pulse on celebrity news, recently conducted a poll questioning whether fans would be in favor of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West reuniting. However, the poll has attracted significant backlash, with an overwhelming majority voicing their opposition and urging respect for Kanye's current marriage to Bianca. Recent discussions have arisen regarding Kim Kardashian's potential sway over TMZ's polling decisions. Claims suggest that her influential position and connections may have played a role in shaping the outcome of the poll, leading to skepticism about the authenticity and objectivity of the media outlet's reports. Either way, there's a clear connection here, and they love to mess in the Kardashian's life, and I even wonder if the Hulu show has, like, some part in this, that they're helping, like, push these stories, make them bigger deals so they can have a storyline. At the end of the day, everything in Hollywood is so manufactured, guys. I mean, I think we all know this. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any other video ideas for me, here's my email. But until next time, I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.